Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see how to share the self-hosted integration runtime across multiple Azure Data Factory. We have already covered how to install the self-hosted integration runtime on Azure Data Factory. If you haven't watched them, I will be providing the URL in the video description. If you are new to our channel, hit subscribe. We have created two Azure Data Factory. In the first Azure Data Factory, we have already installed the self-hosted integration runtime. Let me open it. Let me go to manage. Under this, we need to go to integration runtime. So if you see this one, we have already installed in our last video. By following this installation procedure, let me show the installed self-hosted runtime integration in my machine. So this is the one which we have installed in my machine and this is up and running. Now let me navigate to the other data factory in the Cloud Tech Academy. The self-hosted integration runtime is installed. Now let me proceed to the other data factory which start with two. So in this, let me go to manage and integration runtime. If you see, we don't have any self-hosted integration runtime over here. We are going to share the self-hosted integration runtime which we have created in the first Azure Data Factory. In the first Azure Data Factory, if we go to nodes, you could see the created self-hosted integration runtime. And now switch to sharing tab. Here it is saying the what are the steps we need to do. First step is granting the permission. And the next step is to copy the resource ID. And we will use this in the second data factory in order to link first in order to grant the access just click on this icon here you have two options the first one is system assigned managed identity and the next one is user assigned managed identity i have explained managed identity in detail in a separate video i'll be providing the url in the video description please do watch as of now we are going with system assigned managed identity in the second data factory just go there and under here you will find managed identities and if you see the status is currently on so if you keep it on then only you will be able to uh, see that particular uh, data factory name over here under system assign click on add to grant access access is granted now copy the resource id from here and we will go to our second data factory just click on apply and in the second azure data factory just click on new under integration runtime and here go with Azure self-hosted and click on continue here last time we went with this option now we are going to share so go to linked self-hosted and click on continue here provide a name to the integration runtime and provide the description if you want and here you need to paste the resource ID which we have copied from the source and here we need to select the authentication method which we have opted initially and click on create and that's it. Now the self-hosted integration runtime is shared in the second Azure Data Factory as well. And if you go to nodes, you could find the node up and running. This is how you can share self-hosted runtime integration across multiple Azure Data Factory. Thank you for watching this video. Follow me on LinkedIn to stay connected and don't forget to subscribe the channel. Thank you. Bye-bye.